<laughs> Weapon of War. A Glock. A Glock, which is the most common handgun that, and by the way, it's just a semi-automatic handgun. Weapon of War, which would... would I said, hey guys, yeah, come get it. I said no more weapons of war. That's the wolf. They're very similar to the Glock. No more weapons of war in the studios, guys. We have to make sure. Uh, okay, I just, I, I can't even, you know, go, you guys can go and, in, 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 well, you can't search, but if you go to lateralscutter.com, search Stephen Crowder, Second Amendment, you will see this argument that Joe Biden brings up is one of the most rudimentary arguments that you've heard. You probably heard it yeah. in, you know, philosophy class 101, and he's still using it kind of like the 77 cents on the dollar for, you know, for women. Well, when they talk about women's rights, women in the workplace. So we'll get to it. I know it seems remedial, but it just, he gave us a layup. Um, there is, of course, a 40-year high inflation. We have a decimated southern border. Mm-hmm. We have this unbelievable power struggle with China. Uh, but uh, don't worry. The former Vice President Biden has a plan. It brings us to this week in Biden. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. I don't want to get going because I have to keep you here too long because you know all what I'm about to, what I've said and you know what I've done and you know what we're doing and you know what I know what you're doing. But let me close with this. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, God. They, are they putting We're tongue so twisters screwed. on his prompter? I just think they <laughs> just think they give him a giant spoonful of peanut butter before they right. send him out there. I, know, but well, I, know I was going to talk about international, but how much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Yeah. If a woodchuck <laughs> could... Uh, come on, you know, you, uh, know the, it's, it's, you know the thing with the, with the woodchuck. Ch- they got those teeth. Come on. What are we, what are we doing? Can I get uh, just wood? the medicines that cause uh, dry mouth yeah. before I go out? Oh, sh- Problem is, all the medicines, all of them make me shit my pants. So, oh. It's the lesser of evils at this point. It's could, all evil. I could keep you here all day if I knew I, what we were talking about. <laughs> if I could string a sentence together. I love that he started with that. You know, Don't that I know. Going. You know that they know that I know. That we know and he knows. They're saying that I'm a paranoid schizophrenic, but that's only because they know, uh, that they, I know that they know that I'm watching me. Sometimes when I'm in the bathroom and I run <laughs> out of the toilet paper, I like to pretend that... That I, I'm like a captain out on the ocean. <laughs> yeah, with the toilet paper roll. Yeah, and I look out and I see someone. I say, "Is that uh, a, is that a siren?" I can't resist. Can't resist the sound. <laughs> Joe Lewis. <laughs> Joe Lewis just Joe. even doesn't like it. He's the Mala's watching me. Hello. All right, Joe Lewis. All right. So speaking of Nerf guns, oh, uh, last week Joe Biden traveled to New York City to speak about. Uh, well, you would think he'd be speaking about you know the rapid, uh, rapidly rising crime rates, of course. And, oh, I uh, thought it was police, a p- Well, police uh, members, sorry, I want to say policemen, well. police Zs leaving the force in record numbers, leaving their uh, citizens exposed, which, yeah. by the way, you're not supposed to have a gun because you're supposed to call the police, but they're racist. So the point is, well. if you're trying to make sense of it, it doesn't make sense. He was supposed to talk about violence, and instead he talked about specifically gun violence and the Second Amendment, and he said something so asinine, uh, we'll see if you can catch it. For any of the press, any of the press listening, this doesn't violate anybody's Second Amendment right. Okay. There's no violation of a Second Amendment right. We talk like there's no amendment that's absolute. When the amendment was passed, it didn't say anybody can own a gun and any kind of gun and any kind of weapon. You couldn't buy a cannon and when the, this, this uh, amendment was passed. So no reason why you should be able to buy certain assault weapons. But that's another issue. Okay, first off, uh, Joe Biden, this is how we feel. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. God have mercy on your soul. Now, I want you to comment below. Can you see where he literally used in his argument what would already be the counter argument? Before I present it to you, if you're familiar with me having discussed this topic, do you got it? He brought up cannons. Look, he says that it didn't say that you could have a cannons. That's actually exactly what the Second Amendment says. Not only is it exactly what the Second Amendment says, it was reinforced where there was a question sent to James Madison. I don't know if yeah, you remember yeah. James Madison, one of the one of the you know creators that of that, that that whole bill. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. They yeah. said, "Hey, you know, we're dealing with some uh, pirates and stuff. Can we have cannons?" And it was like, "Shit, yeah, you can have cannons." <laughs> Let me read you. This yeah, we in pretty America. much have two firearms, <laughs> muskets and cannons. Right. Yeah. There was more than that, but the point is, he's trying to say you couldn't have cannons. Look, there's a letter <laughs> of Mark 
1812, James Madison gave permission to a privately owned ship to have mounted cannons. Wow. says, I have commissioned the private armed brig called the Prince Neffchatel Nef- mounting 18 carriage guns, hereby authorizing Nicholas Millen of the said brig to subdue, seize, and take any armed or unarmed British vessel, public or private, which shall be found within the jurisdiction li- jurisdictional limits of the United States. Mm. This is the same guy who wrote the Bill of Rights. He was asked, can we have cannons? The guy... The, James Madison, if you read the actual letter, all references available at ladderwithguider.com, was almost confused. <laughs> kind of like sometimes when we get questions in chat, yeah. and it's like, so, Stephen, do you, uh, do, you, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, do you like ice cream? Well, yeah, like, you don't already know. Why are you wasting my time with this question? James Madison was like, can we have cannons? He's like, why are you, you would, did you read it? Can did you read it? Of course you can have cannons. Second Amendment. Why would, why would you not be able to have cannons, dummy? That was the letter that he wrote. I love it. I love it. What are you going to do? Go out and take a British ship with a musket? <laughs> You're going to shoot the wood and it bounces off. Hey, guys, stop. There were other weapons, too. You're talking about there was the puckle gun. There was a Girondoni air rifle. There was a pepper box revolver, the belt and flintlock. These were all around. The founding fathers knew about them. They certainly knew about cannons. That was the most powerful weapon that you could really have back then. And they said, of course, you can have cannons, which actually, if you're talking about expanding that, right, if you're talking about changing the scope, how do you apply it today? Okay, what would be the equivalent today of cannons? At least tanks. So my point is for you to think that it only applies to an old lever action or pump action shotgun, which, by the way, is also uh, something that should be banned, according to uh, former Vice President Joe Biden. He just doesn't realize that he said it. Uh, Of of course, cannons. Yes. It was a letter of exasperation from James Madison. Like, don't waste my time. Yes, yes, you can have cannons. Well, and I have have an idea. Joe Biden, you said that no amendment, uh, I guess, can't be changed or whatever you said. Yeah, there's there's a process for that, and it's not going through Congress. It's going through the states. So if you really feel like the Second Amendment should be taken out, why don't you go through the process? Yeah. That's not what you're. That's doing. because he fell. Ha- he fell asleep halfway through your explanation. Well, he's like yes. the pro. I can't be expected to listen to all, all these phrases. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'm not retired. Don't get me going. Even though I'm 92. To sleep. Gosh, <laughs> a man who should be well past retirement and social security age, who's yeah. never worked in the private sector, running the entire country. Who could possibly have foreseen this going badly? Now, here's him also using his anti-gun rhetoric um, when discussing an NYPD officer. And here's the thing. Listen to what he says. This just shows you how little these people know. Now, you should have been able to understand that Joe Biden knows nothing about firearms when he told his wife to just take a double-barreled shotgun and fire it into the air. A crime. Illegally. (laughs) I told my wife she needs to protect her home. Go commit a felony. Why did that happen? Were they at a ghetto picnic? (laughs) Yeah, effectively. I don't know. It was a gender reveal party. They had a barbecue. So this is what he said when discussing an NYPD officer who was shot. See if you can spot just how dumb He is in a specific instance. It's really a weapon of war. One of the things I was proudest of years ago when I was in the Senate, I was able to get these uh, weapons uh, and the weapon of war magazines Mm -hmm. outlawed. That got changed. It got overruled. But I don't see any rationale why there should be such a weapon able to be purchased. Weapon of war. Doesn't violate anybody's Second Amendment rights to deny that opportunity. But anyway, their futures were cut short by a man with a stolen Glock and that 40-round magazine. And Yes, a weapon of war is the most popular sidearm in the country, a Glock. I think he said Glocken. He said Glocken. <laughs> I'm doing the German pronunciation, Glocken, uh, and Margen. And he said 40-round mag- weapon. There was a, a drum magazine in that really? Glock. I but believe he used the word stolen. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Which means it wasn't... <laughs> Properly acquired. It means that, yeah, it wasn't <laughs> legal. we got to close this stealing loophole. Yeah. People shouldn't be allowed to steal. Also, people shouldn't be allowed to throw their guns in a dumpster by a grade school like your son, asshole. Well, let's, not, thought it was let's a, not focus on that. I thought it was a middle school. Yeah, yeah. I thought, it was, a, thought it was a middle school. Yeah. Let's go need to rehash. Yeah, high school. I don't, let's not rehash the past. <laughs> Weapon of war. A Glock. A Glock, which is the most common handgun that, and by the way, it's just a semi-automatic handgun, weapon of war, which would, would... I said, hey guys, yeah, come get it. I said no more weapons of war. That's the Walther, here. very similar to the Glock. No more weapons of war in the studios, guys. We have to make sure that uh, we don't want any weapons hey, of war. Steven, Gerald. Uh, 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 Gerald. Yeah, Gerald. Uh, uh, but no, I just, I want to, it's not a... Uh, yeah, it's a, no, look, it's a Walther sidearm. You can take Joe Lewis with you there, uh, 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 good soldier. How am I going to protect? Them? No more weapons of war in this. Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! There's a weapon of war on me here. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep that weapon of war. Yeah, <laughs> going to have to. T- it's not quite a cannon. Did we cut my penis out of the montage? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. Nobody came in. It to does take have that kind name. of a drum yeah. magazine. It does. <laughs> the refractory period. I don't know insane. if it's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you guys need to know, right? He says, "Ah, oh, you can't have cannons." Yes, you absolutely can have cannons. There's a historical context for that. Then he says, "Weapons of war: Glock. That's your gu- that's your gun. That's almost every single pistol in the country. Walther, Glock, HK, the most popular guns in yeah, the country. Yeah. He's now considered weapons of war. So when you next hear about the assault weapons ban, according to Joe Biden, former Vice President Joe Biden, a Glock is a weapon of war. Hmm. If that's a weapon of war, then everything is a weapon of war, and you're not entitled to a weapon of war. The only people entitled to a weapon of war is uh, the military, the FBI, of course, who we are beyond uh, trustworthy, and the local police force who are systemically racist. He used the exact same language, former Vice President Joe Biden, last year uh, when he called for banning, again, weapons of war, but he was called for calling for banning assault rifles. Hmm. Now, I know this has been a hobby horse of mine for a long time. Got it done once. <laughs> We should also ban assault weapons and high-capacity <laughs> magazines in this country. There's no reason someone needs a weapon of war with 100 rounds, 100 bullets. Than a hoop and stick. That can be fired from that weapon. Okay, so first off, he said assault weapon. Assault rifle is a term that's often used in the military, meaning like burst fire. Assault weapon doesn't mean anything. That's where you can no. put anything under that umbrella. Like, a Glock is a weapon of war. Assault yeah. weapon is a made-up term. This is legal. Pistol grip is illegal. We've been through this. I know it's remedial, but it's just important to see the winds that are picking up here, okay? Can you feel the winds changing? This guy now thinks for some reason he's going to be able to push through some kind of anti-gun legislation. It won't be done in a constitutional fashion because it's immensely unpopular. So he needs to make sure that people who know nothing about firearms hear Glock go, oh my gosh, you mean that weapon of war? Just don't be stupid. Don't be silly. The way that you convince people in your life, okay, because we try to be solution-oriented. I did a Change My Mind where we took people to the range. They fired Walthers. They fired shotguns. Just take someone you know who's never shot a firearm, take them, to the, take them to the range, have them fire a Walther. If they have a Glock, have them fire a Glock. Then explain to them this is what the uh, former vice president wants to ban as a weapon of war. They'll go, oh, oh, now I know it's bullshit. There you go. <laughs> Your wife can't protect herself because a handgun is no longer allowed. Sorry. Right. The, some other weapons of war, like you said, by the way, to include is the uh, Beretta M9, the Mossberg 500 shotgun. Just oh. to be clear, that's a pump shotgun. Uh, K-bar knives and rocks. Uh, these are weapons of war. <laughs> what? Like the K bar knife. It's like, listen, come on. If you're just going to say weapon of war, anything, everything goes under that. Well, Every that's why. Yeah. Thing. Anything you can use. If uh, if you guys uh, are watching right now on YouTube, of course, we're also available on Spotify still. Oh, we're available on Android. Yeah. We're available on Apple. So you guys can listen to the audio version. And sometimes there's some uh, some uh, Easter eggs in there that we don't necessarily have here on the, uh, on the show on, uh, on YouTube and Rumble. Watch Louder with Crowder live. Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.